Hey everyone, I'm Molly here with Row City RV of Michigan, and today we want to show you how to manually override your awning. This model is a Solera Lipper LCI awning. These are the 3000 series arms, so this is the newest version, um, but most, if not all, of their awning arms can be manually operated this way. So looking at the coach, you're always going to be to towards the hitch on the motor side here. You see this little black cap. All we're gonna do is take that off right here and we'll get you a good view of it. And then we're gonna take a 7 16 nut driver or socket or whatever you have and we're gonna put that on there. Now, these are very low geared so you can't really probably see that it's turning but as I turn, you can kind of see it turn here. So I have this in the out position right now so I'm just slowly rolling it back in. So that's how you're gonna wanna manually override. Now, if you go to manually override, because your awning's not going in or out and nothing's happening. You're turning this nut and this is not going anywhere. Let me show you what could be happening. This is what the awning arm looks like behind all that plastic. We have a planetary gear here. This is what that nut looks like that I'm turning up there. This is that 716 nut. When you turn this, there is three gears inside here and one big gear here. It turns all that together and rotates this. That's what makes that awning go in or go out. If that's not working when you turn this, that means a gear inside of here is broke. If that's the case, the awning will freely float back and forth. Just zip tie the arms and get to your closest dealer to get that taken care of. But that's how we manually override the Solera awnings. If you got any questions, just let us know. We'd be happy to help.